Hello everyone. Um, Everybody is asking me about this machine, whether it's working or not, and they want like a proof of uh, working condition. Today I'm gonna make a video, full video from programming to cutting, and we can, as we can see, everything is here. So I'm gonna show a couple of things before turning on. So we have here the pump where you guys can see this one is the main water source. The water comes inside. This is the pressure pump. From the pressure pump, the, the tick hose goes all the way up to the machine. And we have the adapters, power cords. So, and this is the regular power and this is goes to the machine for the sensor. And uh, what we're gonna do, uh, this is the machine, so we can open it. Uh, that's the that's the head. That's the table. Table is replaceable. You, uh, we can see here, but there are like four screws here. One, two. You have to empty the tank, and then you can change it. Uh, the the table you can change it. They sell it on their website. Um, I'm gonna turn on. So one is for the machine, and one is for the pump. So both of them are on so the machine is not on this is the trick part so this machine is only it becomes on when you, when the water level is all the way to to somewhere around here somewhere around here so i'm gonna fill up water so everybody can see that that's how it works it's not like you turn on and it's gonna work so regular water let's add more water even though I added a lot, but now I'm gonna add more, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Anyway, once the machine starts working, uh, it's gonna uh, automatically it will take out the. Uh, uh, see so now the machine is on so once the machine is starts working cutting it will feed the water and can eject the, the waste kind of uh, this is the waste buckets by uh, by the way the all the sand comes here uh, from these holes one of these one is here the other one is here so the the waste uh, the used already used sand is gonna fill up here from the bottom there is like filter pumps it brings it here and then the water goes back to the tank and then whatever whenever it feels like it's high the sensor it takes out with another with another hose which one uh, this is the main one so this is my main water and the other one goes to the to the drain so uh, whatever it's when it feels like it's it's a lot it will take out back to the drain so we can open the water hold on a second okay so the water is on just in case i put it it's been like almost six seven months i didn't turn on so that's why i put it like small buckets so just in case if it's leaks or leaks or anything but at, at the end you have to tie it back so this is the computer part they told me that uh, i don't know you can reprogram the firmware but i never touched it there is a way of you know reprogramming the software and stuff but i never done so this is the uh, the sd card place where you bring your nc outputs from the computer and uh, let's see what else what else um, oh, we have here the, we have here the, hold on a second, this is the sand bucket, you fill up the sand here, so we have the sand here, almost full, uh, we have the sand here almost full, and then you have to buy the sand separately, every, I don't know how much, but you know they sell with buckets i have a lot in case if someone needs whoever bought the machine and they can ask me i give better price than the 
then the website I have uh, almost 2,000 pounds in my backyard um, and then what else do I have to tell so you need to so a couple of things you need to be careful so these parts sometimes they leak because you need to open it and then retight reclose it the, that's the water this is the sand sand comes technically from here I'm gonna show the bottom part so you'll see the the hose where it takes the sand from here it pumps from here all the way here sometimes time to time it this comes out so I can right now take it out but it comes out so when it comes out the water goes inside the water goes all the way you sand so you have to stop the machine you have to clean it and also when when you see something it's like the water is coming from this head you need to open it you have to clean it so I can't do anything so this is from comes with the machine you know I think it's a common stuff you have to check it uh, when the when the machine is on but there is no program it's free to move left right all the way here so all you have to do is to bring it let's say whatever is your job uh, whatever you're gonna do the cutting you bring it here this is the head part you lose it and then you bring it oh first thing first I always put my finger and clean that's the head part that I can show probably, but yeah, there is the head where the water and the sand comes for the cutting. So you lose, you make it loose, and then they give you a plastic. When you put this plastic uh, like this, and you bring it all the way down, so your head will touch. This is the space technically for from your workspace, you know, work with you to the to the head. And then you make it tight and then you make it tight and then once you make it tight so you just take it out and you have to be very very careful for these uh, screws I already grinded these screws so you need to be careful that your head will not you know you don't have to do accident or anything so I grind it so now it's kind of freely passes uh, I'll give these screws from me but yeah so see everything so there is no accident it's not gonna damage anything your screws or your uh, head so let's put it here all the way here whatever you want so and then now we're gonna go to the computer and uh, let's program something and bring it and let's cut here try to cut here okay so this is the program it's not a program it's a web-based program so where you import your STL files and uh, just program it so let's import something I don't know what I have here um, let's make this what is this one let's try this okay so you can bring this here we can you can work okay so that's the import part this is scale and position we can click this we can see how small or how big it is so 11 by 11 we can make this um, 12 or 14 14 by uh, proportionally 14 I guess they're, they're doing proportional so and then uh, this is the table positioning I'm gonna go I'm gonna put mine was around 140 to 200 200 you need to play around to figure out what's your positions and keep your positions in mind because this is a web base it's not gonna remember for you so wherever you put the your last uh, drawing design make sure you keep your position so you can cut later on next 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 and you know uh, otherwise you're gonna forget and then it's gonna be hard for you to find your exact position and then you go to material it depends what your what's your material either copper plastic ceramic they have so many materials here titanium uh, I have mine uh, I have mine so I choose mine mine is a stone uh, mine is stone and then you go to the cutting pad so cutting pad, as you, if you guys know, it's, it, it, you can cut from outside of your your material. You can do inside. No cut. No cut is let's say if you have multiple designs here and you don't want to cut this one, you want to cut the other one. So um, let's do this one. Century line. 
let's do this one center and also let's do this let's go you can add multiple files so let's get let's get another file also let's get uh, let's get this one for example this is bigger so let's put this one next to it okay so first because it's been a long time we didn't use it i don't know the sand will fit first time or you know we sometimes the first one they they just don't do good cutting you do the second one so just in case we put two of them here and um, we cut the first one and then if everything is everything is good we cut the second one so we're gonna do two two files so cutting and then we take this one we say no cut for now it's gonna do white and we do cut only cut for this one tabs and leads if you want your uh, your job starts you know from outside or inside I say no tab no lead I already I already made a small hole here so it's gonna hold my material and then you say cut and then you say medium um, here it shows how long will it take to cut so it's 1 minute 59 so almost 2 minutes and it shows how much uh, sand will it take so let's put this one zero job job zero one okay and then you say generate job and then where this generates let's let's see okay here downloads and then what we're gonna do is when we're gonna go to the cut and we click this one we say no cut and then we go on this one we say center line and then uh, we go tabs and leads no tabs no leads nothing we don't need and then we go to cutting and then again medium see this one it says two minute zero three a little bit bigger that's why and then we say gen you can do fine but you have to play with your materials and stuff this is my material i know it's gonna work it's gonna cut with this feed rate so technically how it works is the cutting is it's all it's all about the feed rate it's how slow you go it cuts fine and depends on how thick is your material and depends what type of material you have it so let's go generate this one and then oops oops, oops. okay it makes uh, job one dash one it's okay i was going to do job two but it's okay and then once it's done so what we're gonna do this is the download folder and then you need to have this sd card so the way they told me either your laptop will have this SD card place or you need to have an external SD card external SD card and then let's put this SD card and then let's see what we have inside okay so let's copy this job and job in a parenthesis one so copy and then we go to Wazer card. We have two here, so let's add these two here. Paste. Okay, so now we have it. And then we take it out. And then we go back to the machine. I have the manual here. Man Oops, I have the manual here. Just let you guys see what I've done before. I cut all these. So these are materials that, let's see. This is a hard stone, very hard natural stones I do. So I have a caliber here. So my caliber shows zero. And then these stones are almost three millimeter hard, very hard black stone. I use stones, so I cut these designs. I cut it, this stuff. Technically, this is all I cut, and a couple of more, and that's it with this machine. I know I didn't even use this one, so I didn't even cut it. So the old guy, um, the old um, owner, he gave all this stuff. I never used it, and I don't know what is it. It just looked like a filter. It's a bunch of screws, you know, holes, uh, zip ties. I don't know. And this is the manual. Manual was good. If you have any problems, old manual shows all the problems here i cut all these small pieces too there. 
super nice let's see so manual has the serial number and then we have the all these instructions one by one it shows everything how to cut how to do it how to calibrate it's very very good uh, manual and also they have online uh, if you have any problems they can you know you can call them and they're very happy to assist you uh, let's let's take this one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it here okay I highly suggest to buy a couple of these in case of you know one is not working so you have the second one and then you can use it your job will not stop so what we're gonna do is so the setup and maintenance I have no idea you go input output check jar cut rate testing firmware version when you go to the cut people are asking the hours it's not saying anything it says nine hours I think nine hours. This is the total cut. Uh, the other way is saying the each cut how much how how much was it. So that's all has nine hour I guess probably. So this is the back. Now how we go back? Let me see. Oh, press OK. Press OK. What else do we have? Nothing from where? Okay, input output. So maintenance. Let me see the maintenance on. These are the stuff that I never played with it, so you need to know the water level, this and that. So let's go out. How you go out? Okay, one more. Okay, so select file. You go to let's say job one. Okay, it says prepare for the machine. So the machine is, it doesn't matter what it is, it's gonna go its home position and then it's gonna come all the way somewhere around your, whatever it's gonna start the, the zero, your zero position, not the machine position. So let's see, um, let's, let's be like this, okay. Yes, and then lift the nozzle, clear everything, it says the safety issues. Okay, now it goes to all the way home, okay. So it's coming all the way to okay so it comes to your position here it shows that it's going to take one minute 59 which we saw already uh, on on the screen and then we click next it says fill the uh, fill the sand and then click ok confirm water supply is open we already opened the water supply and then click here faster material to cut okay you can you can change the the speed here too it doesn't matter how um how slow you put but you can change the feed rate from here too so this shows the position 140 to 199 okay and then you can do before you start before you cut the material you can go down and then you can try dry run which I like a lot. So let's click dry run and see. Without water, it just uh, cuts. Shows how it's gonna cut. Okay, that's all my cut, so. Uh, which is okay. I think it's a normal place. And my material will be enough to cut the you know, design. So let's close it. Let's see how it works. It has very loud sound. This uh, this pressure, whatever they call pressure pump, has a very loud uh, loud sound. Probably I'm gonna put a mute. No, I don't know if I have a mute here. I don't. I guess. Okay. Let's cut the material. Okay, everywhere is closed. The rain is open. Okay, let's try. Okay, start. Are you sure? Not to continue. Not to continue. Yes, to continue. Not to continue. Okay, press OK. Press to start. Oh, I have to click start. Yeah. 
everything. So let's see how it works. Okay, now it's, I guess, it's supposed to start cutting. Once the first cut finish, I can see what's going on and then I can cut the second one. it's done feed rate is 100 you can add the feed rate from here up and down but I'm gonna do it like that it shows all your positions So I think it needs more la more water. Okay. I think it was cutting. So I don't know if I can show the cut inside. You guys can see the cut. It's cut. It was cutting. So everything was okay. Perfect. I need to add more water. In case if the sand is finished, it will stop and say add more. You know, sand with water. You need to add more water. Don't worry if you add more, it's gonna make a, it's gonna automatically drain the water, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, I'll add more, a little bit more. much would be enough let's close it okay it says press okay when it's complete right yeah press okay not to continue it was already 94 so it was almost finished Cut completed, two minutes and three seconds, and then you open, and then you you can push it once it's finished. As you guys can see, my stone is this is very hard stone, so my stone was already cut. So I, I put small piece there so I can hold it. As you guys can see, nice and clean stone, cross stone, kind of. So let's, it was pretty good. I mean, you have to play with the uh, feed rates and stuff, depends on what you're cutting to get m more accurate, if you need more accurate. I don't know if it's good enough to show. I don't know, let's put it like this. If this is good enough to see. The dimensions, I'm gonna show the dimensions so you guys have better idea how much will be this one, so. This was almost 15 millimeter. Yeah, 15 by 15. So this part I need to cut. So let's cut one more, the second job, which is very similar to this one. So it doesn't matter what is this location. You don't have to care, care about this. So all you have to do, just be careful. This bucket needs to be, this handles needs to go all the way back. So you need to make sure that these parts are clear open 
this bucket doesn't come all the way up to close this part these holes this is the drain holes let's close this one okay let's go to the to the other job uh, the other job was uh, parenthesis one that's the second job okay it says prepare for your machine yes and then lift the nozzle clear everything okay we did that it goes the machine goes all the way back okay just let you guys know that uh, on this uh, these shocks are new but still it's not good enough for this one probably you need different type of shocks because these shocks comes originally they sent me originally it's a brand new shocks but i didn't like it i think there is a, there is a, what they say some type of metal here uh, and the magnet somewhere around here and it detects the the sensor whether your door is open or closed if you once you're doing the the cutting and your machine stops and says your door is open that means one of these sensors there there should be somewhere here there is a magnet here you guys can see so this magnet if you take this out this magnet if you lose it when you close it it's going to show that your door is open you make sure that this this magnet it's inside so let's do again we can do a dry run because that's my favorite part it says fill up everything supplies is on everything is on and then position let's do dry run okay so this this is the second one okay let's close it okay cut material Okay, press start. this head part I guess from here you need to take this screw okay stay there stay there okay good so this part you need to open it and retight so you don't have a you know water leak even though there was a water leak but yeah okay what it is asking add water when you complete press okay so the water was okay okay start cutting Ok, 
the second job is done also yes. okay so the drain supposedly the drain is to be on the drain is open so I think it's supposed to drain the water but I don't know when it's going to drain so I think let's see this one is done it's been a long time I never done this okay cut rate from where no maintenance if you go okay oops water okay okay let's see tank cleaning pickup cleaning water level setup i don't know what is this probably this is the one clear obstacles under the cutting head let's say click ok remove the no cancel tank cleaning Thing has to be some way they need to level the water. Let's see. Uh, not this one. How do you do? Tank cleaning. Restart. Close the door. the water takes out of the tank the dirt and brings it here fill up in the inside the buckets okay so this is how they clean the tank and dump the hose when it's completed press ok ok so drain drain is here so drain is here everything is open so drain water goes all the way here Let's see if there's anything ok so that's the drain 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 is open so I think everything is open everything is ok Press OK. Thank you. This is how they clean the tank. Uh, underneath there are a lot of sand. Let's say, for example. It brings up all the way to fill up these buckets. I never done this before, I'm just doing my first time.
let me see how they drain so uh -huh. drain is here everything is here let's take out a little bit water and then we can do it i'm gonna pause here let me take out a little bit water and then i'll continue Okay, I emptied a little bit uh, from the tank and then press. Okay. 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 Top of maintenance. Okay, now it's bringing all the way the dirt from the bottom to fill up the tanks so you can take it out these tanks and you know dump it outside so seems like this part is working too i don't think i can open the door the sensor will stop it so let's leave it like this okay there is another way to do i don't know how you, you open the drain and the water starts going uh, to the drain Okay, I think it's a one minute or 30 seconds, I don't know. Or I, oh, I have to click it, okay, probably. When it's when complete, press okay. I feel like maybe it's clean. Okay. And then, I don't know, there is a tank cleaning, there is a water level setup. I don't know how you set up, but I don't want to play with it. Probably clear the, you have to take out everything and then you know under the cutting head okay so I don't know this part okay so bottom line you take it you open this part so let's see our cut it's the most important part this is the second cut I click it so this part is notch there is a notch small I put it there so let's click it so we can break this small part and take this out okay want to cut better you have to cut so technically slower or I don't know different ways so this uh, I never changed the this bed so I got this you know they use these big ones so I use these small ones so in all cases we never I, I never changed it I only used probably total of one hour maximum or less than one hour I don't know I cut only these pieces which each one was like a 30 second as you can see these small ones these ones like very small stuff and this small stuff again the head is here you can bring whatever you want let's say for example you go to another job when you when you do this back back this is back by the way select file for example old one i don't know what is it if you don't know let's say if you click it you say yes yes and then it goes to the home position and then you say dry run you can see where it's where it's going to to do the run so here you go this design is located here and what is the design you come here again you click it oops sorry that was a water you click it here confirm the water supply is on okay 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 then you say dry run okay. that's all so it was cut it was cutting like something small rectangle anyway i don't know other than this i can't say anything else the rest you need to try by yourself uh, I drained a little bit. I don't know how uh, the drain suppose uh, suppose it works automatically when you when you do it. Then there has to be some options. But you guys see, I don't have any leak or anything. Even if you have it, you have to make it tight. So I can't do anything. 
it's not part of my you know 